everyone, welcome to my stream. It's Friday, we have a classic Amiga uh, stream today and uh, I'm George, uh, you can find me as uh, Volcaro in various Amiga forums. How are you doing? We are just a few hours before the, the weekend and uh, I hope you are going to have a good evening here today. Hello Javier, welcome to the stream. Javier says, yep, we will join later. What are you going to break today? Have fun. Yeah, uh, today we're going to see some applications that I managed to install the previous days. And also I'm uh, intending to, to have a look in uh, different browsers, uh, web browsers, that are available for 68K and uh, install them into this uh, uh, system and see how they are working. Uh, that's my plan for, for today, but we will see, we will see what else comes up and if we manage to see all the stuff today because uh, there might be there might be issues and uh, you know that I like to break my system so we will see how it goes um, so yeah uh, today we are going to uh, the, the previous days I uh, used a little bit more this uh, system and try to install uh, some of the applications that I'm using a lot in uh, my in my Amiga One. That's why I tried to, to do a fast, uh, let's say, uh, installation of these applications and you will see that uh, in a moment. Some of them work, some of them need a little bit uh, more uh, work to make this uh, uh, work flawlessly without issues. But let me um, stop the, the music and uh, start checking the, the, the applications. So uh, the apps that I focused uh, more uh, for today, for this stream, is uh, our applications for uh, office work, uh, some uh, word processors, and uh, graphics, which is uh, which are applications that are most useful for uh, Amiga OS and you can use them to, to do whatever you want and you would like. Of course there are numerous of other applications out there that you could uh, try and uh, uh, run and uh, use them to do whatever you want. Uh, but uh, I choose uh, a few of them just uh, as a, an investigation to see how well they are working with uh, the Python. Um, so the applications that are crashing, I'm not going to show them here yet today because they are crashing, so it doesn't make any sense until I make them uh, work better. For the office um, stuff, I chose uh, four different applications to have a look. Um, I think you all know the Word Worth uh, 7 the Final Writer, which is the 97 uh, version, uh, Amiga Writer, and uh, Money Matters. Uh, so let's start from the Final Writer, for example. The Final Writer is one of the applications that is using uh, RTG. Um, that means that works mostly on any uh, system. Uh, that has uh, RTG graphics, it doesn't rely at all on um, uh, I'm sorry, Let's give me a sec okay. And um, yeah, as I was saying, the RTG applications, the RTG compatible applications, are uh, working on any machine, and they usually don't require uh, the custom chips from uh, the Amiga. So one of these uh, applications is uh, the Final Writer, and most of the applications that we are going to see today, uh, it's. Uh, it's a known, uh, well-known application, so we you can come here and write something like
and you can create your text here and add I think you can add screen, uh, images let me see so this is so clear um, I can't say that I am expert on any of these applications that I'm going to show you but of course you can make uh, text bold and uh, you can change the uh, the font like that Unfortunately, as uh, this can be seen here, the um, final writer lacks uh, any idealizing in the text, so uh, the uh, you will see the text being uh, a little bit rough on the edges, and that's uh, the reason. Um, hello, Aris Amiga, welcome to the stream. So let's see what we can do. Uh, so these are layouts, objects, tables. Let me see if I can add uh, an image. Edit. This is the, the, the version 97, which is the uh, last version that was released by the development company, which was Softwood, if I'm not wrong, Softwood Incorporated. And uh, recently, uh, someone acquired the, the rights for the final writer, and uh, he is working on a new version, version 7 which uh, as I heard uh, is close to a release so that would be great if we can have a, an updated one and I think that this version in, uh, has some realizing on the, on the text Welcome to the stream C277 and uh, hello SLD Snake, welcome as well How are you doing guys? So today we are going to see a few applications I have a the looks paint for you to, to to have a look on that as you requested and we are also going to see later today the uh, alternative uh, web browsers that we can have on any Amiga OS uh, 3 system and uh, we will see how they are working on uh, a Python um, so right now with the final writer I'm trying to import okay to find a, a way to add some uh, images if possible so uh, clip art ok we have that it's not a tutorial for the application of course just to have a look on how this is working how well it is working or not Okay, so we have a left vertical about the text um, flow. So if I put it here, we can have some text being left. Uh, from the from the image, but it doesn't influence the Im the paragraph at the back, which I don't know if we can change. I was always find the the, uh, the environment of the final writer a, bit, a little bit confusing. 
uh, so bear with me and if you have any idea please let me know uh, SLD Snake says uh, cool I have to install my 1200 uh, SD so I will take notes okay what happened to your SD uh, does it crash or you had issues Can you please let me know if the stream is running fine because I had some uh, connection problems, I think. How does it look now? Yep, we are back. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, thanks, thanks everyone. So uh, I was asking SLD Snake, what happened to the to your SD? Did, did it crash or something, or you just need? to set up everything from the scratch Let's see what else we can do. Now I would like to take, as I was saying, uh, the this application has a some kind of a learning curve to understand how this is working. Um, so when you have an image, you can have a text beside the image or not so let me see if I put it right vertical is it going to transfer yes it is transferring the Im the text beside the image so if I go and do something like that okay Okay, so you have um, this kind of areas as uh, paragraphs and the text of the script, okay, the, of the script, the text that you have into the uh, page can be floating beside the paragraphs. 
like that. Now I wonder where did it find Okay. Now the text is over there because the paragraph doesn't take too much space, I guess. But also the text is not uh, wrapping. Let's see if we can make it wrap. Text flow left, right. I think that okay use okay I see some of the text that uh, doesn't fit into this paragraph is coming over here you see that vertical this is part of this text in the in the paragraph okay That's why I said that this uh, editor, for me, it was always a little bit confusing. So you have, you can add text here, but you can also have paragraphs with uh, different other text. Okay. Let me see if I can import some uh, text from other uh, files. Uh, let's say uh, some document. Uh, office. Let's see if we can take that, copy, and add it here. Yes, we can do it. And let me add it again, and again, to make a huge page. As you can see at the top, we have those tabs. Those tabs uh, mean that we have uh, different pages. All the uh, pages are coming as uh, different tabs here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom out. No, this is for adding the um, time. Page 4. As you can see, the refresh of this uh, of the page is not that fast, uh, even on this uh, machine. You see how slow it is to uh, the refresh of the screen. But it's uh, pretty usable. Uh, SLD Nexus, my SD, well, it's uh, the SD for the Warp uh, 1260. Earlier I wanted to copy some files and uh, also write a caffeine OS for the 600 Pi. And I mixed the cards over writing to, oh my god. So you lost everything, eh? Um, Aris Amiga says, that's weird. Yes, it's... Uh, when these uh, kind of editors uh, were released, back then there was no uh, standards on how they should work, so most of the companies were doing whatever they thought it was a good way to implement stuff, so uh, it's not uh, so the same, you wouldn't think the same way that you think 
or uh, when you work on uh, LibreOffice or Word or something like that. SLD Snake says uh, I use WordWorth or, uh, at the 1200, but I forgot the general use. Yeah, I, I like the, uh, the WordWorth much more uh, than the final writer. It seems more uh, intuitive for me. And yeah, we will see that in a minute. Uh, Tsitu says, uh, I don't think zooming in and out was a thing. Yeah, probably. Not for this application, maybe. But, you know, the thing is that uh, most of the times we don't... Uh, yeah, that, that's it. There it is. Wow. There is the zoom. You can do it from the menu. The thing is that uh, every application needs some time to to learn it. I think um, because they have a lot of potential to do whatever you want, and um, you just need there is a learning curve to understand the logic and how to work with that. But you, you see, there it is. So, um, for simple editing or something that uh, you would like to do to create uh, some document, it's uh, pretty nice. And I'm not capable to show you all the, the secrets of this uh, application because I don't know it transparent use okay that looks much better now but the preview image full image that okay I'm just messing around, so bear with me. So if I go to the next page and put something like this, a line, like that, can I make the text flow around it? Yes, I can. That's a nice trick. And if I do, if I do left vertical, I guess it's going to be, yeah, it's going to get where exactly it starts. And if I do contour, that takes more the the shape and flows the text uh, uh, on the left or on the right. Something that I have seen is that you cannot have the text go from both sides. Okay. So this is a good way if you would like to have something like um, that over here 
and then say I would like to have a paragraph here and block the text to go over there uh, SLD Snake says uh, what you saw was not what you got here <laughs> no, uh, yeah it, it was pretty close I guess for the 97 it looks like it has everything uh, one might need I suppose you with much less memory than MS Word my um, concern about this application is the, the refresh in the screen right now maybe I am uh, spoiled because uh, I use a lot of the Amiga 1 and the speed there is much faster to refresh everything um, so yeah maybe that's uh, something that has to do on uh, how much I am uh, spoiled with the speed of the Amiga ones but the, the thing is that uh, it's not that bad I would expect to be, be much faster to be honest Let's see, can we add something else? Layout for, okay, section, create, uh, title page, preface, table of contents, okay, paragraph, section, page, apply style. What I would like to see is um, if you can have. Uh, connected sections so you have a section that starts on one place and then goes to the other place if the text is uh, um, overflowing so let's see if we can have a section page numbers name no not that Okay, that's a configuration for the the page paragraph. That's the default configuration for paragraphs. Um, import is for uh, images, as we have seen. For example, the tiger. like that uh, full image transparent use yeah the transparent is not it, it looks weird I know that uh, back then because the graphics were difficult to, to have them in memory so all the editors have uh, uh, options like that so to show a cross box in case so that uh, you don't have the image in memory because the memory was not uh, plenty um, let's see So most of the stuff are available here uh, as buttons from the menu but you have to play a little bit with them so you can understand what exactly you, they are about because they don't have any help. So if I get that is a text block, uh, can I add it, what's that, M? I don't have a clue text so this is a text 
text something and can I have that here yes and can I have it like that yeah so this is this can be a, a, a section inside the text you can uh, I guess put it under the the images like that with a better uh, color red interior solid black white use um, for the border okay, white one point Four points. Wow, <laughs> doing some DTP like it is uh, ninety seven. Does anyone of you uh, is uh, using the? this application at all uh, have some experience or what's your opinion with this uh, old applications is it something that you see yourself uh, using I know that uh, some people say that it is better to, to use this kind of applications because you are um, when you use uh, modern computers, you have all these interrupts uh, from uh, messengers and uh, uh, Discord and uh, whatever, uh, social networks uh, popping up all over the place, uh, ads. So it is better uh, to use something like that uh, to write something because you may you remain more focused. Uh, C2 says, is there a read option like Amiga Speeds? Ah. I haven't heard something like that, to be honest. But at the end, if you save it as a document or a plain text somewhere, uh, you can fit this uh, to the Speeds. Uh, tool this file and it can read it uh, for you yeah it might be useful if you had some rx to do the same thing um, a script in rx to get the text only and read it but i don't know what would be the how useful that would be C2 says, uh, I was using an editor with this feature and it was like an early podcast. You found the document and then relaxed while listening. That, that's interesting. I will see uh, some usage of that for people who can't see quite well in uh, a screen. Things like that exist right now in browsers, not for Amiga of course, but in other browsers and uh, yeah let's see let's save it because I created an awesome document so uh, I will save it as stream demo and let's see does it have it has print print merge okay print uh, you can set some things, print to graphic, final, postscript file, you can print it to a postscript file if you want. And then the PS file, you can easily um, convert it to PDF, there are tools, as much as I know, that can do that. But there is no way to 
save as ok so by the save as you can select a format for ASCII for example that will be a plain uh, text RTF uh, this is a genetic uh, I think it's uh, the acronyms of uh, rich type uh, flow or no maybe not um, and HTML you see it has also HTML I'm curious let's save it as HTML and see what exactly does it generate so I'm going to go to RAM and I have here a stream demo which has the images in a format that unfortunately browsers are not going to read so but if we open it you have the text and the images on the right so it seems it is mostly a, a simple uh, export it doesn't uh, keep any uh, formation or does it? I think that this section was missing So don't expect something that has to do with uh, CSS and have everything in there. Yeah, I think that section was ignored completely. Completely here, yeah. So that's final writer um, if I knew how to use it I would uh, present it even better rich text format thank you Uchitu RTF rich text format yeah with uh, RTF you are able also to exchange with other uh, applications so and you can uh, theoretically load it in uh, modern uh, editors uh, text editors sorry word processors just fine now theoretically it will uh, keep the formation bolts italics and all this stuff but I'm not sure about the uh, pictures and the placement and the flow and all this stuff um, maybe the, when you use uh, applications like that on uh, Amiga, maybe the best way to exchange with others is to find a way to, to save that uh, document as a PDF file. And let's go and see Money Matters. Money Matters, because money matters. <laughs> uh, this is an application that is useful for uh, managing your money. If you have a lot, and you don't have a way to, to manage them and to track uh, income uh, payments let's see if I can change the resolution tools calculate transaction setting change settings change screen mode ok give me a sec sorry for that uh, things happen <laughs> all the time uh, the OBS that I'm using to, to do the streams just froze and uh, crashed so yeah the thing is that we are back so yeah let's see what can we do with money matters I loaded one of the demos that ha it has uh, the thing is that whenever you save the project uh, it saves also the uh, resolution so uh, if I load another project 
I'm going to go to another resolution and there is uh, a screen mode that you can set here and because this application is also um, compatible with RTG you have all the resolutions there and you can select whatever you want uh, you can have a calculator inside the, the application like that um, with options like interest and uh, currency and the loan a lot of things um, you can have reports based on the data that you uh, add and uh, what else uh, and actually you can have um, set your transaction types what kind of transactions are you doing uh, for example here I can change uh, can I add something let's see okay type details and I would like to add a new transaction what's that what if to which date do you wish to project okay maybe that's too much so that is something calculated uh, let's give it a minute and see how it goes uh, it says own custom screen and resolution per project is perfect for me uh, per project uh, you mean uh, if you have for example this it's it's like when you open a project in um, uh, an application like um, editing images for example when you load a, a different image it's going to change uh, the resolution this is something that was happening a lot back then I think uh, just because the uh, systems were not were so limited in uh, uh, resources so it, it made sense if you have uh, a big Excel file to open it in a, in a bigger uh, resolution than another that had some a few just a few uh, values in there so let's try that again but I don't know how much that would make sense today Okay, that opened uh, another resolution. Okay, let me change it. Screen mode. That's a great application to keep your Amiga expenses because no one is going to be able to open and use it so you keep it uh, quite secure uh, Vincent GR, welcome to the stream all systems good, bypass the EPS relay what's that? what are you talking about? so I loaded an, a different um, example and let's see what does it have here types Okay, budget, no budget, uh, investment, nothing, markets empty, that's empty, and not west. I think that is uh, some kind of uh, account for a bank or something. Current account opening balance and access access card open balance and insurance and from what i understand there is a way even to have some um, where 
exit regular transaction, transaction types, transaction markers ok budget add item manual transaction details ok so today we have what is the day today uh, Fourteenth of June. Fourteenth or six twenty twenty four. Reference debit and credit. Type and it froze. Yeah, for some reason it crashed, as you can see. Ah, you don't know, Maldiv will kill you. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Perseda, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Long time no see. So today we have, a, for the first part, a little bit boring uh, uh, presentation of different applications. We have seen a final writer and money matters, although that I don't know how to use them properly. So have in mind this is not a tutorial, it's just a, a, a stream to see what uh, works somehow and um, what can you do by investigating it? I have my PyStorm in my uh, 1200 dedicated to IMP. Okay, I use it as a network uh, module jukebox. Isn't that uh, an overkill just for, for IMP? And uh, have you checked the IMP box? Uh, if not, you are going to love it. It is one purpose Amiga, yeah, okay. Uh, check the, the inbox, it is, uh, if you don't know it, uh, guys, inbox is uh, something that you can connect on your parallel port. Uh, that uh, works perfectly with imp. Uh, it was made by the same person and uh, inbox uh, connects to network, wireless network from the Amiga. It doesn't require any extra resources or nothing. You just uh, need to make it work with your uh, Wi-Fi and uh, you can have access and uh, you can load your the IMP3 from a floppy disk and with Inbox go live and uh, listen music uh, all day long with no uh, issues. <laughs> so that's a, that's a great um, tool if you want to have an Amiga just for that. And have a, let's have a look on uh, Workworth. Which was working just fine yesterday, but not right now. Okay, uh, let me think. Do I have the file somewhere? I think so. Let's have a look on that. It requires some libraries. Now, what I realized yesterday is that uh, with Amiga OS 3, you can have what I am used to in Amiga OS 4. So, in Amiga OS 4, if you have a, an application like Workload and you have a folder named Libs and uh, you put there all the necessary libraries. Uh, the application is going to use them because first looks in the same folder for the necessary resources and then goes to the generic the global uh, folder which is the libraries um, but unfortunately i think based on my tests uh, this is not working with 
Amiga OS 3.2. So here it is. Yes, let me change that to libs. Okay. And I hope that now it's going to work. Yes. So here we have Wordworth. Let's open a demo like Michelangelo. To me, it seems that the scrolling is much faster than the final writer. I don't know how necessary this is for you but for me i think the the scrolling is a deal breaker have in mind that um, we are talking for not so powerful systems and um, guess that you might have a, a document that is 20 30 100 pages in final writer i'm afraid it's going to be slow to death but in with uh, word word it's much better and as you can see, it uh, already has the uh, spell checking working, and it's much better. Um, Presenta says, I have inbox, actually two inboxes. Okay, great, okay. Uh, my jukebox uh, 1200 is translucent and uh, even has solas inside. So it is a real music machine and it glows all over the place. And if you uh, turn off the lights of the, the room, it's going to be um, a disco Amiga. <laughs> uh, it is really nice, yes. Uh, Tito says uh, way more responsive it is. And let's see what can we do. Can we load an image? Let's say this one, okay. Great. As you can see, it is over the text. Let's see what we have here. Options. Um, we have border, to add border. Full color, okay. Text flow. Condor left. So it has the same options like the final writer. It doesn't allow you to have the text from both sides. So you can have text like that, left or right. And uh, as you can see, the text is not, let's see, if we go to straight left. It's exactly the same, but it has uh, some extra space here. Okay. And I guess that has to do also with the standoff. So if I go and make it. The good thing also is that you make changes and you can see the changes automatically. And that part here is uh, for the images because usually when you have uh, uh, images in the document you can keep them inside the document like uh, with no link or have them outside the document then there is a link for the document to know which images should uh, load that helps a lot if you want to send to someone else the the image the sorry the document so if you have them with uh, linked um, you need to send us the images as well in a structure, a file, a folder structure that will uh, work for them just fine. Um, Presenta says you use RTG from your PyStorm. Yes, exactly. Uh, Vincent GR says we need Greek fonts and spelling to this one. The, the word worth is pretty easy to use Greek fonts. Uh, if you remember, I if you can recall, there is a tool that is related with TrueType fonts that you can use. <coughs> excuse me, that you can use to convert some TrueType fonts with any encoding that uh, you want. For example, the ISO 80, 80, 
uh, 879.7 I think it's for the for the grid and uh, if you do that conversion you can transfer the 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 fonts to Wordworth and use the, the Greek um, letters just fine. Um, SLD Snake says I was not aware of the GR. You mean the Greek letters or the uh, Grim Reaper? <laughs> Let's see if we can load anything else, uh, any other image. So, uh, Vincent, yeah, you can use Greek in um, uh, word words just fine. Uh, I prefer when I write uh, some uh, do, uh, some uh, articles for uh, magazines. Um, I prefer to use word words because when you write um, articles for Amiga uh, computers, you have to do it on an, an Amiga, right? Uh, Vincent GR says I did manage to use GR fonts a couple of months ago but I can't remember if it was for this or Final Writer okay uh, for the Final Writer it was more difficult for me to find a way to, to make the different fonts being used SLD snakes the letters okay uh, the best GR fonts are the are in guts <laughs> yeah maybe uh, it is, but only the shape. The shape? What do you mean the shape? So we, ha and as you can see, the scroll is much. It's pretty fast, even if you have images in, um, in here. What else can we add here? It has some windows you can add. Uh, the styles is um, something that you can uh, set, for example, uh, a style of uh, normal, we can set that to normal, like that, and then you can use, uh, there is a way to edit that style, so if you go style sheets, and you select normal, and you say that normal is going to use um, a different font let's see we don't have a different font but we have a different sizes so 18 for the normal and the text is going to be 18 percent gray and the background which is going to be uh, pink because I like it I think so and it's going to be italic okay apply so the normal wherever i set the the style normal it's going to have that um, that look so if i go and set this to normal it's going to have that look uh, what else shape of letter in the game okay <laughs> for God's <laughs> um, how would you say into the wonderful in Greek how would you say into the wonderful I don't know to be honest into the wonderful I don't know so if we can have here uh, what else yeah that's for setting an area for images so if you are doing DTP and you want to say that's okay we are going to have an image here which is going to be um, flow straight left like that and then you can add the images if you want and 
and let's see if we can set a table the table is going to be uh, yeah like that give me object tools object create object uh, format document edit how can I edit the the table I can double click no So I can come here, okay. And uh, does it have flow? It has flow left, for example. Or if I make it full width. And I add here some text okay it's a little bit difficult to cut the table but it is possible um, Peseta says in uh, Czech, is this Czechoslovakian? It does not make sense. Vincent says, Stoi perho. There is no real translation for that. Yeah, same here. Um, Peseta says, wonderful is an adjective we cannot use into for it easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same for, uh, for the Greek. So, and also you can have some shapes here, for example that, and that also can take some uh, flow, like this. But again, um, it has uh, a lot of uh, different uh, Features, but not something like uh, the what you have used in uh, other more modern uh, word processors. For simple stuff, you can do a lot of uh, interesting stuff here. And let's see how you can uh, you can print uh, setup. You can select what kind of printer. And you can select to print out into um, a file. The postscript uh, printing out to a file when you use postscript is really good because uh, you can convert it to PDF or you can send it to a printer and uh, print it just fine. Um, but again, you have to, if you would like to use this kind of applications, you have to use them and um, figure out the uh, features yourself and see how they are working for you and for what you want to, to do and uh, to exchange with other uh, users especially for uh, newer systems you have to use uh, to save them and use it uh, as RTF um, if you want to keep the formation, the bolts and all the stuff the bold text, the italic and all this stuff. Uh, with RTF I'm not sure if the, te the images are going to be there uh, in, in the positions that you would like to, them to be. Uh, so uh, if you want to make uh, adjust the text and send only the text, RTF is the best. Now about uh, different other languages uh, that use different encodings, have in mind that uh, most modern uh, systems are using um, Unicode, so it is going to be difficult 
to read your text. If it is only English, you are not going to have an issue. But if it is uh, using some other encoding like the Greek language, um, it is difficult to, to send it as um, uh, an RTF and expect that the other guys are going to, to open it. Um, maybe it would be better to send it as um, a PDF file and uh, let them uh, copy paste from the PDF. Or find a way to an online um, uh, service that does uh, conversions between the different encodings. Although I couldn't find anything that would work quite well with um, uh, these these files, unfortunately. Um, and again, experiment with it. Uh, play with it. There was at some point a book about World War uh, 7 uh, released a few years ago. I happened uh, to, to have that uh, bot back then and I have the, the PDF. Uh, right now I don't have anything to, to read the PDF here but we can have a look uh, later how this can be done. Um, Harris Amiga says, can you print from it? Yes, yeah, you can do it. If you set up your printer on the Amiga system, you, uh, you can print it straight to your printer. And uh, because the these applications were uh, released by, before 2000, so they are more than 20 years uh, old, it is better always to use a uh, PostScript uh, to have some kind of um, um, Compatibility with the latest versions of uh, with the latest uh, printers. Uh, Perseta says, "I do not know anyone who has a printer connected to his Amiga already. Uh, maybe not on the Amiga, but maybe on the network, and this could be done as well." How difficult would it be to connect a printer? Uh, it depends the printer. If it is on uh, your LAN, it is easy let's say, uh, because there are uh, drivers that are using the, the network to communicate with the, the printer. Uh, Perseta says, depends on drivers only, yes. Remember using and printing, Vincent GR says, remember using and printing with the mighty ProWrite back in the days with my 500 star LC200. Later, uh, the ProWrite is the uh, word processor, right? Later, I discovered Wordworth and PostScript EPD, etc. It was smooth, like uh, with an inset. Yes, uh, it is better. PostScript is still around, so it is better to to try and use that, or um, convert the PostScript to PDF and try to be, print the PDF from other systems, maybe, if uh, there is an issue with uh, the printer that you might have. Uh, ProWrite, uh, Cito says ProWrite, I think that was the one that could read the document back at you. Ah, yeah, maybe. Uh, Vincent says later I used the uh, Canon uh, i560 with TurboPrint. TurboPrint is a great application, uh, it is still around, uh, not updated unfortunately, but it can be quite useful even today. Uh, SLD Snake says, back in the day, I remember using a software for printing. You could print an image of tens of megabytes. I don't know remember. Is th that's the turbo print. Yeah, I did a video about ProWrite and was uh, using the speech thingy. Yeah, okay. Uh, Perseta says, anyway, 1200 has a so bad keyboard that I cannot imagine to write some uh, longer text on it anymore. That's why you have to use uh, Amiga OS 4 systems and Amiga 1s <laughs> because you have uh, modern keyboards there, if you like. But uh, okay, uh, joke aside, if you want to have uh, better keyboards, there are solutions, although they are a little bit uh, expensive. 
there is uh, there are a few guys that create modern uh, keyboards for 1200s and um, they even use um, keycaps and uh, every, anything new you can print your own keycaps if you want to, uh, and you can use them uh, so you can you can create your own uh, keyboard if you like and if you have the money to buy it because the last time I asked it was going around 200 of uh, euros to create a new to take one of these new uh, keyboards and uh, you can connect it in this put it in this case and uh, it will be great and the typing is going to be flawless but I had also to, to wait for one year to, to make it happen so it depends BCGR says the only thing uh, the ST had better than the Amiga was the keyboard, big keys. But you didn't have any reason to type anything there. <laughs> SLD Snake says uh, thanks, I will take a look to Turbo Print. I don't remember even if the name sounds familiar to me. Okay, yeah, I think the Turbo Print, it was coming with two discs. Uh, the last version, I think it was seven or something. Turbo Print speaks uh, Arc, so you can combine it with uh, other probes. Yeah, and um, Turbo Print, I think, was ported uh, in Morphos as well. I don't know if they are still using that, but uh, in the first versions of uh, Morphos, they were using uh, Turbo Print. Uh, okay, that's all for World Wars and. One of my also beloved uh, word processors is Amiga Writer. Uh, it was released late uh, 90s. It is one of my beloved because it is um, much simpler than all the others. It has less uh, features, but also it has uh, anti-aliasing on text. It is much easier to add uh, uh, fonts to that uh, application and reminds more the the modern word processor back in the, in the late 90s. Okay, so you could add here uh, an image, I guess. Let's see. Oh, sorry, the some text. Uh, how about that? Is this for an image? Okay, let's let's open um, Let's find a small image to use if possible from the web. Let's go and say on Google. I'm going to say Firestore. Um, uh, images. Let's see if that is going to work. I warn you, I haven't done that before. <laughs> Everything is happening before your eyes. Okay. Let me get that image. Uh, download image. Let me put it in RAM. Minimize it and let's load it in here.
Okay, let me see it. Can I remove it? Okay. How can I change its size like that? Okay, it seems that some things are not working quite well. we are back we are back I don't know what is happening today uh, just a few minutes ago uh, the operating system the Linux that I'm using on my streaming uh, computers just crashed completely crashed and uh, locked me out shutting down everything so <laughs> I don't know I don't know what is going on today uh, but we are here, we are going to continue, no matter what. Everything is going great. Yeah, everything is going great. So, um, yeah, this is uh, Amiga Writer. Unfortunately, Amiga Writer is not updated anymore, as you would imagine. Um, I think it is available to buy it from uh, Alinea, from Amiga-shop.net and uh, maybe um, uh, I think it is uh, only on download version uh, which is fine I guess So that's Amiga Writer and that finalizes my uh, visit to some of the, um, let's say, office applications. Um, but uh, what could we use to uh, open uh, PDF files? Uh, let's go to Aminet. And uh, there is, I think, an app. Is it called RNO PDF? RNO PDF. Um, let's download it. RNO is a guy that uh, develops a lot of applications for Amiga OS. Uh, he supports Amiga OS 3, Amiga OS 4. Um, Morphos, almost everything that is under the sun in Amiga uh, uh, world, and uh, he's uh, developing uh, his applications with uh, Hollywood. That's why it is uh, uh, easier to to port to all these systems. Um, Vincent Gr says, I think that Final Writer is not complete as a package, but looks and feel uh, modern. Yeah. It's not. It doesn't have all the features that the other uh, um, applications have, but for me, it uses. It has idealizing on uh, text, which makes the text more readable, and uh, it also when you have uh, images, you can set them to to flow the text from both sides, which is useful if you do some kind of uh, DTP with that. Um, although that if you would like uh, also to do DTP work, I would suggest to use the page stream, which is much uh, better than any of the others. Um, and final calc is bland. Okay. 
So let's see RNO PDF. Let me extract it. And see how it works with a big uh, PDF because the document for the uh, World War 7 is more than 50 megabytes. So it's a good example to see how well it behaves on uh, Python. Uh, for sure, I wouldn't try that on my 1230 uh, Amiga. Uh, although that I love this system so much, I wouldn't put it under this this pressure to, to use it uh, uh, for loading such a huge uh, PDF. So let me copy the RNO PDF here, tiltis, and um, here it is. It has versions for Warp OS, which is good if you have a PPC uh, system uh, 68k and 68k with FPU I will suggest I will try the FPU version just I wanted to say to see if there is uh, a version for the 68k um, CPU yeah, it might be able to be used on a plain 68,000. 68, so let's check it out. Okay. Nice. Open file. And let's go here where I have the office. Wordworth PDF. I would say it is pretty good. Let's see uh, first, previous, next, and last. Okay, with a right Amiga, and then you can go to the next. So, any page it loads them uh, when you request them. Okay. It's not that bad, the experience is not that bad for uh, such a big uh, uh, document. You have to remember of course the uh, the key combination, the shortcuts. Um, you can search for things. Okay. And it starts, uh, that document starts from uh, the installation process and, and everything. It's not that bad for a classic Amiga and for such a big. Uh, uh, document. Let's search for something. Let's say uh, image. As you can see, the the Amiga flashes a lot because it searches here and it found the section images and marks them, which is great. And you can read them. And uh, can you? Okay, you can use the cursor keys left and right to go to the next page, which is also good, much more useful. So yeah, there is an old version of, uh, I think, AMI PDF for the classic Amigas, but it's quite old. I would recommend only the RNO PDF 
because it's much uh, newer application it uh, supports uh, it has a better support for newer PDF files so if you have a fast uh, Amiga and you want to read PDF files in that uh, I would suggest only the RNO PDF Vincent GR says I prefer and use Turbo Calc with FPU support Okay, uh, Turbo Calc uh, and Final Calc are some kind of uh, Excel uh, applications, right? So um, that's about PDF and also let's see how we can connect the PDF file. So what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that when I come here and double click, I would like to open that on RNO PDF. So to do that, we have to go to default icons. Let's see, we have picture, disk archive, archive, ASCII, font, video, music, office docs, pdf, ok, change icon, no, let's skip it like that, but, no, keep it as it is, advanced settings, ok, Okay, so when you click on the icon, you get the default PDF icon here and you can uh, select which application you want to use. So I'm going to use uh, RNO PDF, that one, save. And because this is using right now the icon from the Amiga OS 4, I will, you see here it has information from the Amiga OS 4, so I will uh, open the uh, default icon for this system. You can do it, you can load it with uh, right Amiga Intel, uh, or go to the menu and say load default icon. Are you sure you will lose all changes? Yes. OK, and for some reason it didn't load the, the right icon because it doesn't recognize that this is a PDF. Maybe the, the spaces uh, confuses it. Let's see like that. Alt info. No, it sees that as a text uh, uh, file. So let me go again here and see. So any file that has the extension of PDF should be a PDF. Office Docs, FTXT. Maybe it has something else, a priority from the ASCII. Okay, let's see how we can force it. If I go here and open like that and go and say uh, load default icon, no version type icon type icon image load let's go to and back sys Delete icon. Ok. 
okay and let's try again it doesn't even lo uh, let me load the the icon that I want okay so if I go to RAM and there is a possibility that it doesn't find this icon because it's not in environment uh, SLD Snake says I was taking a look to QMU and uh, 4.1 as you guys told me last stream I have just saw one guide from yours uh, Volcaro yeah there are a, there is a lot of information in uh, amigans.net if you go um, there are a lot of topics discussing about the QMU emulation for the Amiga OS 4 and uh, right now we investigate the some issues that there are with uh, graphics cards when you use a pass-through which means that if you have a PC with uh, two cards, two ga graphics cards uh, you can use one of them in, uh, Amiga, in the Amiga OS side and um, so that uh, QMU doesn't need to emulate a graphics card of course that means that uh, the Amiga OS 4 has to have drivers for this card and you have to have installed those drivers and uh, uh, there are some issues right now some cards are working just fine some others are really slow so there are some uh, discussions about that that would make uh, easy easier maybe or more um, uh, or more uh, or better to, to create a uh, dedicated PC for Amiga OS 4 uh, I have one here that uh, lies uh, at the side that I'm, I'm going to, to try and set it up with a pass-through graphics card so Envark, let's go to Envark Envark is under the prefs here and let me see sys where is the pdf here it is and write it here save ok info ok let's put it manually for now utilities are no like that save and if I double click it opens inside uh, Wordworth ok so that's that's working right now cool um, Falcon 11 welcome to the stream how are you doing sir SLD Snake says, uh, oh yeah, uh, cool, I'll read more, I tried the, that pass through for some other visualization stuff at the office. Yeah, it is a good um, chance to, to have them working. There is uh, some uh, complication though, but if we can uh, have a, a setup that is, we know that is working just fine, that will be... Uh, great for everyone because they will know that if you buy that kind of hardware and you install QMU it's going to work just fine and you are going to have a fast uh, emulated Amiga OS 4 system now it's not going to be that fast as uh, the Amiga ones uh, but uh, some people uh, had uh, some benchmarks running even faster for my micro Amiga one or uh, really fast, uh, faster than uh, 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 some 460 uh, which is pretty good to be honest for the price right uh, I don't know if you are going to be able to play Doom 3 for example 
on these uh, systems, but that doesn't make sense to do it because you already have a PC, install Windows, Linux or something uh, and play Doom 3. Falcon 11 says it's okay but also started ME football. What's the ME football? I'm not a football guy so sorry I, I don't know. So uh, that's all for these applications I, I guess and I'm not going to continue talking about this because it tends my system to crash every time I'm talking about all this stuff and I would like to go to have a look on uh, different alternative browsers if you don't mind so when I did my stream about the the internet and how you can connect to the internet and all this stuff uh, I installed a browser uh, which I think it's a, a really good browser really fast uh, it doesn't support C CSS unfortunately but uh, it is still under development so in my opinion we should uh, support the developer to continue working on that recently he released the version 3 which is going to be much better in the future I hope um, and we will see what is going to come with that but uh, today I would si like to see some other stuff some other applications um, European Championship okay uh, did it start? the European Championship did it start? I don't have a clue <laughs> as you can realize so one of the classic uh, browsers that we always uh, were using is a web so let's see how we can install it Aweb is one of the classic uh, browsers from back in the day. Um, I remember there were Aweb, Eyebrows, Voyager, and Amilinks. Amilinks, maybe it's the oldest one, um, but uh, at some point it stopped being uh, implemented, and uh, the other three were the ones that kept on uh, being uh, developed so what I'm looking for is let's go with the date and sort by date so we need AW web APL 3.4 this version I think let's download it uh, volumes applications, internet, downloads here and recently there was an update released or two yeah one here this one 3.5.091 What's that one? Uh, 3.5.09 I think I missed it Ok, let's download this one as well and try it out and see what is best because I see that this one is 3.4 megabytes maybe it includes all the versions and we also need the latest one because I think this one has support for AMI SSL yes which is necessary because otherwise we are not going to be able to, to visit most of the websites nowadays right so let's see, uh, let's have all of them downloaded uh, 
uh, internet downloads let me check this one first so that version 3.509 seems also to be an, uh, a package, an APL package so I hope that this is the only thing that we need install ok, proceed, proceed AW APL Lite is a fast multi-threaded uh, WWW browser for AmigaOS and Morphos ok, this is a less procedure we install uh, a web APL light browser version 3.5 on your, your system and where do we want to install it if you please select the directory where you want aw APL ok a directory will be created there so I'm going to applications internet and install it here this program needs the class act GUI package or reaction to run ok the reaction package is included as part of the Amica OS in version 3.5 and above how about 3.2 um, we don't need the developer version ok Yes, more than two megabytes of memory. Proceed. Proceed. Installation complete. Okay. So let's see what we have. That's the 3.5.09 version that we found in uh, uh, Aminet. Let's see if that works at all. If we run, because it might need some uh, reaction uh, gadgets it seems to start it started let's check the amulet it works fine uh, Ahmed Kakami, welcome to the stream, thank you for being here um, Preseta says, uh, football goes totally beyond me, the only football I ever enjoyed was Zwas. Yes, me too. Uh, hey, we have a real celebrity. Hey, Moya. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Amikakami. Um, so today we are looking on applications for Amikos 3.2 and right now we are in the section that I'm, I want to check all the uh, alternative of the... Um, uh, web applications uh, sorry, the web browsers that are available and what can you do actually with them uh, Amiga Kami says no problem I'm just getting it started and I need real Amiga people uh, in there <laughs> you are in a good place I think um, so this is a web the 3.5.09 version of course you can set up set it up here to use smaller or bigger uh, uh, fonts I think this is available in GUI settings no not here HTML settings browser settings fonts yes here you can set up your uh, your fonts have in mind if you want to see uh, text in different languages you have to use uh, fonts that support this uh, the encoding of the different languages if you are in Greece because a lot of my friends from Greece are here uh, you need to use uh, fonts Greek fonts um, I like to use the S underscore font from the uh, Aminet let's see S underscore fonts font Okay. this one um, and there, is, there are courier in there there are uh, times and different other uh, fonts that you can 
have uh, available for your uh, browser. You just need then to go and uh, set your browser to use these ones. Of course, the, this, uh, these uh, fonts do not have only Greek, they have uh, the English, uh, the Latin uh, letters in there, so you can have both, uh, both worlds uh, at the same time. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious to see if amigans.net is going to work. Uh, cannot make secure connection to amigans.net. Secure connections are only supported when using AMI SSL or my AMI SSL use an unsecure connection instead. If I click yes, this is not going to work because Amigans redirects you to HTTPS. So we will try um, to install the latest update, which is what it is. Uh, a web 3.5.091 and from here I'm going to create a copy of that with write Amiga NC and point this here and disable everything than 040 so we should have here an A web of 40. If I name it to A web, it will not let me because it already exists. So I'm going to go here and no, I'm going to go here like that back and uh, delete this file. Sorry, not copy, delete. Delete. And unfortunately it deleted the info file as well. So I'm going to rename it. Like that. And I'm going to copy that info file. Copy as. So now, if I refresh this, I'm going to have a web with all the tool types and everything as it should be. And let me run it. You see that this is the latest version. Let's check aminet.net. Works fine. Uh, let's go and check the amigas. .net, which is an HTTPS website. Okay, okay, okay. Accept, accept, accept. Okay, okay, okay. And that seems to work just fine. Let me catch up with the, the chat. Amika Gami says, I recently purchased the iBrowse but haven't got around to installing it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a great browser. Um, I, I use it even on my Amiga OS 4 system because it's really fast, really fast for, for the most things that I would like to do. And uh, especially if I'm trying to find some documentation about even when I'm developing something. Uh, on Amiga OS 4, I use iBrowse because it's blazing fast to find uh, any information that you need. And you get rid of all this uh, JavaScript from different websites. Um, Amiga Gami says, I need to figure out how to make my Pi into a gateway so I can go online from the my Amiga 1200 through it. Through the you mean to, to set up your uh, Wi-Fi connection through the 
Raspberry Pi Presenta says try patimoonpresenta.com Look, I'm going to uh, trust you <laughs> and check it out. I don't, uh, it's not my fault, guys, what we are going to see right now from Preseda. Preseda. <laughs> so let's see. Hope I wrote it down correctly. Amitikami says, yeah, it's very quick to use even on my uh, O30. I want to use a PCMCI Ethernet card connected to the Pi using the Pi's Wi-Fi connection. Oh, you... Look out, it's Patty. Uh, Amitakami, so you want to use the Raspberry Pi as a proxy for getting um, access to your Wi-Fi, right? Okay. At first, how to maintain this site? The story. Welcome to the party room. I said I'm sorry, but the story is not visible on iWeb, AA web, sorry. Let me see if I can open that on iBrowse and if it is more visible. And readable. I'm sorry, but no. I think you need to change the 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 text color. Um, I mean, Kakami says uh, because I don't have a, a router, only a mobile phone hotspot. Okay. The setter says no. It's definitely not Amica browser friendly. <laughs> Okay, we can check it out with Amifox in a few minutes if you if you stay around or NetSurf. So let's go and see the rest of them. Uh, so Aweb is working quite well, I will say. I'm really happy with that. And let's check NetSurf. Let me close some of these windows. So if you go to Aminet and search for NetSurf. you will see that list but you will not uh, it's not clear that we have two different versions of NetSurf for Amiga OS 3 um, Amiga Kami says I su suppose double clicking a reaction string doesn't highlight it, it I think it depends if I here is um, This is a magic user interface. Let me check again on uh, Aweb. No, it, it is it is doable. With double click you take you mark the the word, triple click the whole line. Uh, Preseda says the site is 20 years old almost. I do not expect it to work in any browser outside PC world. But uh, our systems uh, were there 20 years ago, so it should be supported. Um, so, uh, about NetSurf, we have two different uh, versions. One uses the SDL. Uh, as uh, the way to draw graphics in uh, on the screen and the other is using reaction now let's see uh, the two different versions um, if we click here it says NetSurf M68K 3.6 if we click on the readme you will see the developer 
Uh, Arthur Jarosik uh, has created that uh, version. The 3.6 is on Aminet, but if you click on this link here, ami-soft.blogspot.com, um, and proceed, 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 and if it is compatible, come on, I need to find a way to, to remove all this uh, notifications and scroll a little bit further there is a version version netsurf version 3.10 but the link to download it is over here I hope so let's download it okay It's around 2 megabytes of uh, a file, of an archive, so this is already downloaded. Let's go back again and see the other version. We have NetSurf 3.11 from Chris Young. Chris Young is the, the, the guy that uh, maintains the version for the Amiga OS 4. So this is the version for Amiga OS 4 and beneath that there is NetSurf OS 3 3.11 beta now this version uses um, reaction to be honest with you in the past whenever I tried to use that version it was not working quite well on any of my systems OS 3 systems that I tried it but it's a good chance right now to test the latest version and see if that works better or not and if that is going to break my system or not so let's see we have we say NetSurf this is version 3.10 it's only a binary okay that is not right that's not right let me download the 3.6 as well from Aminet maybe at that website on his website it has only the binary to update it so let me check on Aminet and download 3.6 this one remember this is the SDL version Javier welcome back you see we are still here So what we try uh, Javier to do now is uh, install different uh, web browsers. We already did that with uh, AWeb and we installed the, the latest version that is available that supports also uh, SSL uh, based uh, websites which is good. And uh, now we are going to have a look on uh, NetSurf um, which is um, in case you guys don't know it, this is um, where did I install it? Uh, download it. Um, this is a web browser that is ported from other systems. Um, it supports CSS. It has some support for uh, JavaScript. Um, so we will see how it works. Let me delete all this stuff from the memory. Skip. Okay. Because, okay, we have a lot of memory, but we don't have to fill it up with things that we don't need. 
So this is the SDL version, as you can see now this version has a lot more stuff in there. We are going to run the 3.6 and w then we will try to uh, upgrade it to 3.10 and see how it works. Javier says uh, Aweb is a very nice browser uh, but too old for today pages or web. It's pretty much the same like the eyebrows, although that I think the eyebrows behaves a little bit better with newer uh, with uh, websites that require a lot of uh, JavaScript, although that it doesn't execute all the JavaScript out there, nor it supports everything out there. But I have seen, for example, the I have my blog on coffee, coffee.com slash Volcaro, uh, which is only for Amiga uh, content. And uh, uh, OWB on uh, my Amiga OS 4 system is not even able to get into that website. Uh, it is uh, blocked by the uh, CDN that they are using, the Cloudflare. But iBrowse is able to go there and see some of the information, uh, but not everything because that website is based a lot on uh, JavaScript. Uh, it doesn't have an installation script. Um, there is an OWB for 68K. There is one, uh, but it is quite old. Eyebrows lacks CSS, but is a good Amiga browser. Yeah, for now it, it lacks a, a CSS. I don't know if the developer is able, is looking to add it in the future. Have in mind that uh, at least it is still on uh, development, so it is good uh, for us to support the developer as much as possible. That's why when uh, the the latest version of iBrowse was released, I went the, the, the same day and uh, bought it. So as you can see, run flawlessly. You just double click and run. Um, let's see, this is version 3.6 okay, and this is the version that um, uses SDL to design all the graphics in, on your screen so let's see what we can do here so everything you see, even the, the uh, field to, to write down the uh, URL everything is SDL based it doesn't use uh, reaction or magic user interface or something. So let's visit something simple like Aminet. Okay, it works just fine. I think that you can click here and download. Cannot rename, download stamp as okay. Okay, so it might, oh, it crashed, no, yes, did it crash, no, yes, so you see that, <laughs> you see I have the editor, but if I go and enable the window, you see the previous editor, uh, the pre previous pointer there, which disappeared, so it might not be crashed. When you are inside that window, you are using a different way of designing because it is SDL. So it might crash um, and have uh, the, the, the rest of the system working fine. So the thing is that it crashed because the, where is it, uh, other, Okay, initial download location, sys internet downloads. That doesn't exist, but application internet downloads exists. So I'm going to do that. Uh, okay, save. And let's say that I want to download this one. So it downloads it automatically. If I refresh here, I'm going Am I going? Where is it? The, like that. Did it download it here? No. Uh, other application. 
Distribution Seed, ah, ok, Downloads, Downloads, no, this is wrong, that's the folder, save, let me check again, save, ok, bare metal, download, so if I go to internet, downloads, I don't see it. Where is it? Ami Arcadia. Let's see. Um, what was the keyboard shortcut uh, for update? To update any window from Workbench, to update the uh, files, you have to click on the right Amiga and M. M like Michael, which is also available here. Update. That's the one. Right Amiga and M. Okay, so right M. No. The files are not saved. Okay. Maybe that person is broken or it needs a reload. Or I see here it has a downloads. I hope nothing is here. Nothing is here. Okay, let's try again. Is the, that's okay? Um, let's try to load Amigas, which is a an HTTPS website. Um, Amiga Kami says uh, don't have one in 3.1. Yes, there's an, uh, this is one of the um, shortcuts that was added with 3.2. Um, in 3.2 they added a lot of shortcuts uh, to the menu uh, items of the workbench. Amiga Kami says I own 3.2 but I haven't installed it yet. Look, if, if you don't need uh, to have it uh, working on your system because you are happy with 3.1, that's fine. Uh, for me, um, I was uh, using mostly 3.9 on my systems and uh, I switched uh, to 3.2 because um, most of the applications from 3.9 uh, were there and uh, I didn't need to add all these uh, patches that I had in 3.9, so it was uh, the best choice for, for me. So in NetSurf 3.6 seems to have some issues, so I'm going to copy that, to, to keep a, a, a copy of uh, 3.6, sorry, 3.6, Six like that because I'm going to uh, in, uh, copy there the 3.10 that I downloaded from the developer's uh, website here extract yes so if I run it it should could not open AMI SSL hmm interesting because AMI SSL is installed on my system weird uh, version 3.10 unless if it requires another version of uh, AMI SSL which is possible so how to understand uh, why that fails what exactly it expects use snoop dos 
and it expects aha uh -huh. so as you can see here it is looking for these versions of AMI SSL all these versions are AMI SSL for uh, version 4 and uh, that's why I, I, say, I guess that 3.6 didn't work with uh, the uh, with the Amigans website so this version of NetSurf requires AMI SSL 4 and it can't work with AMI SSL 5 what can we do about that? let's see if that is available and let's, let's fix it latest version 4.12 ok download uh, parent downloads ok and let me show you how you can fix it without using the installer because if we go and uh, use the installer it will mess the installation of any SSL 5 point something that I have in this system uh, I miss, uh, Mercedes says 3.1 is obsolete technology <laughs> it's not obsolete uh, I think it's pretty good um, but I haven't used it since 2000 because when uh, 3.9 uh, was released I switched to that um, Amikakami says I'm so unorganized I love squeezing everything I can out from of uh, 3.1 have in mind that 3.9 was mainly a 3.1 with a lot of uh, add-ons in there uh, which you could already find in um, uh, Aminet uh, but uh, the thing is that since Amigos 3.9 was released those applications uh, was not were not um, developed anymore and having that for example the let's see the reaction workbench info this is an application that you could find in, uh, in Aminet uh, I don't remember if it was with the same name or the default icons you could find them in, in Aminet uh, but the thing is with Amigos 3.2 those applications are still de in development or async workbench you could add them in um, uh, 3.1 I think or something like the assign words which uh, ask you to assign something a, a, a volume that is missing you can add all these uh, features in 3.1 uh, the thing is would you like to use the old versions or go with something that is still in development? Uh, I agree with you, Falcon uh, OS 3.2 rules. Uh, Amika Kami says, to be honest, I'm just not sure how I'll uh, run it without changing my Kickstart ROMs. If you go and install it, it uh, keeps on using 3.1 and uh, the, the libraries that are needed are loaded from the hard disk so you don't need to change uh, ROMs and the installation makes everything uh, easy uh, Javier asks if the Voyager uh, does work under OS 3.2 I think it does, yes it uses magic user interface, I don't see why it shouldn't work and um, if I'm not wrong, uh, recently was open sourced so it might be a good uh, project for someone to create a new version uh, Falcon 11 says no only you all the version of AMI SSL uh, you need the, the 5 yeah I agree you need only 5 but unfortunately some applications need to be compiled again to support the latest version of AMI SSL Snoopdos is so useful, exactly, yeah, I, I have it everywhere uh, on Amiga OS 4 there is a, 
there is an old version of Snoop DOS, but there is also Snoopy, which is an OS4 native application to do pretty much the same. Uh, one of the best Amiga OS3 tools, yes, exactly. Ami SSL is a symbol of copying its libraries to Amiga Science Lips Ami SSL. Um, come on, man. Don't say our secrets. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Ami SSL 4.12. The only thing I'm going to extract everything is going to be fast. And I'm going to open directory opus. Uh, uh, Amika Kami says uh, the action was originally class act. Yes, yes. Uh, but it w the reaction right now is um, continued uh, developed from the Amiga OS 3 uh, development team and also it takes a lot of stuff from the Amiga OS 4 development which is using uh, the action as well uh, Snoopy, but only Snoop does tough <laughs> maybe so if we go here, Ami SSL, there is libs. Ami go S3 I'm, uh, over here. So you don't need to uh, copy that uh, library because if we go to libs, you will see where is it? We have where is it? No, um, Ami SSL. Lips. Here we have the version for the version 5, so we don't replace that in no way, but we can go here and copy this one. Inside AMI SSL, Lips AMI SSL. Uh, copy and try that again. And now it works. So if you want to support um, applications that use AMI SSL 4 download the, the package but don't use the uh, the installer the installation uh, process, uh, pr script otherwise you are going to mess with the current installation of um, AMI SSL 5 so let's see, this is 3.10 the download directory is fine let's test again the actually there is it aminet okay you see that it takes much more time to load this page even if it is pretty simple page right um, because everything is on uh, SDL now it it freezed for, for a while and let's go with Amigans um, Chitu says got to go we'll watch the rest of the stream later have fun everyone thanks Chitu for being here see you later bye bye so it says a privacy error occurred while communicating with that side. This may be a site configuration. Proceed. It's going to be fine. No harm here. Let's go to Amigans. You see that the, the pointer uh, stutters a little bit because it is designed inside the um, window of the SDL the scroll is pretty fine I, I guess it's really fast and uh, here are the discussions that we have about QMU and the pass-through graphics cards that I uh, mentioned earlier 
so you can click on a link and wait a little bit it's not that fast like I browse of course uh, as you can see the text are undialyzed so this is working just fine CSS is pretty good to read everything and I think the scroll is flawless that means that everything that's why it, it takes time to, to load the the uh, page because everything is first loaded and designed and then it shows it to the user so for um, a system like that for a Python I think it's pretty good um, I wouldn't recommend to use NetSurf and it crashed I wouldn't recommend to use NetSurf on uh, an uh, 68.030 or 04, uh, 020 um, CPU maybe 040 and above or WinUI that will be fine let's check the other version of NetSurf and if we, can, if we can make it work which is based on Reaction and is, is developed by is supported by Chris Young who does also the version for the Amiga OS 4 uh, so this is also on beta you can see that it uses the icon from Amiga OS 4 intermediate proceed where would you like to install a drawer will not be created so we go to show drives applications internet and I will create a drawer here um, net self and to make it different with the, act, the other one I will name it uh, RA from reaction proceed default run fix fonts proceed ok that was fast let's see if we can make it work Let's surf. Okay, initializing. Wow, well, it loaded well. As you can see, this is a reaction, and these tabs are reaction, everything. Let's uh, open Aminet. This is a window that uh, gives uh, some errors from uh, JavaScript usually. Uh, this is also opened on uh, Amiga OS 4, so ignore it. Uh, you see that uh, the fonts that are used are quite different. The way that presents the, the screen is quite different than the other version of NetSurf. Let's see the settings. Uh, Okay, uh, what do we have here? Display. You can. You can. Okay, oh my God. Why? Why? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Don't move. Don't open. Don't open. And it freezed my system. Right, great, great. That was great. For some t reason, the the help was uh, coming uh, automatically, and I don't have a clue why this was happening. So it seems it kind of work. Let's see how we can load uh, if that if the Amiga Amigans.net works. So that would mean that the HTTPS is going to work just fine ok, this one here, let's open it again 
So Aminet is working. Amigas dot net. Proceed. It's the same question that we had with the SDL, the other uh, version of NetServe. Uh, Falcon Level says, uh, you're not alone, me freeze too. <laughs> yeah, eventually, sooner or later, you are going to freeze with uh, Amiga OS. Uh, Javier says, what was the name of uh, first Amiga browser port? Cannot remember. The, the first, the oldest uh, browsers, no matter the, the platform, was Lynx. Uh, for the Amiga, I think we had Ami Lynx. And if I, if I recall correct, because I was looking on that some years ago with a friend of mine, I was saying to him, because he was a, a Linux user, I was saying to him that uh, we had a browser in Amiga before even they had Linux to, to, to use. And I think that the Amilinks is uh, quite uh, old. And Amosaic as well, yes. So some uh, images here are not working, are not loading. Uh, some errors that refer to, I think it has to do with the storage. As you can see, store right block, right failed. That doesn't look so healthy. and crust so Amiga loads the browser doesn't work so well and that gets us to uh, install the next one uh, Presenta says Aminet should be protected by UNESCO yes it should uh, can you imagine a a time that Aminet is not going to be there. Uh, Javier says uh, Lynx, but was a text browser. Lynx was a text browser, yes. Uh, I mean a graphics browser, but uh, yes, Lynx uh, tried a couple of times. I think the Ami Lynx was, had the GUI, just fine. But the HTML back then it was just links and um, text. We didn't have, uh, I don't think we had uh, images. Which we are going to see a newer style of websites in a few minutes. So let's see first the Army Fox. I have here also the, the package that I managed to get from the guys that work on that from the uh, at the Amiga 38 uh, which is great let's install Amifox Amifox you are not going to find it on um, Aminet but there is uh, a website the developer is ALB42 ALB 42.de if I'm not wrong I didn't write it correctly so let me try again it's blog.alb42 what am I writing? yes alb42.de I think yes He has created a lot of uh, applications and one of that we have seen in the past which is the Amitube uh, for uh, watching YouTube videos. So he has created also the Amifox. Uh, that's the website here. But also if you want to download it you can go to... Uh, let me open a new browser. You can go to Amifox, 
dot a and b 42 dot d and here you have uh, some uh, downloads as well but I think that's an older version the 0 0.6 is here download as always as Amifox Bay page so it is recommended to download it from there uh -huh. Amiga 68020 plus let's download it Okay. Now, what is Amifox? Amifox is a browser that uh, is not a browser, <laughs> actually. Um, it's not a browser like iBrowse or AWeb or NetSurf because it doesn't get access to the uh, websites and renders those websites. Amifox to work requires a Linux uh, server. Uh, that the developer provides as well and that server makes all the requests to the websites it actually uses a Chromium engine uh, Chromium is the open source version of Chrome and uh, when you ask for a website it uh, works as a proxy it downloads uh, the website as an image and uh, then get, uh, sends back to Amifox that image so you see images uh, we advise users not to log in at this person is using a public server so right now as you can see uh, I'm using a public server which means that I can check out some websites for example let's check Aminet Okay, let's let me see if it requires the protocol. Yes. So what it does is request from the public server the website that creates an image and sends back the image to Amfox. Uh, AmicaNews.de should look okay too. Yes, we are going to see it. Let's see it now. Amiga. Amiga news dot D. So it renders the website just fine. Um, you can make a search for example let's see I can click here on the English version and it should download the image of the website as an English version yes anytime now a Gemini uh, try it if, yes I, that's the one that I'm going to test uh, after the uh, Amifox it's like a gopher but uh, on today's web world yes uh, I Amiga Kami says I always loved that Amiga World stayed compatible with uh, eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Uh, Amigans.net is also compatible with uh, eyebrows. Um, although it's it, at some at some places it's not looking that good like uh, Amiga World. Uh, but yeah, it, it it is pretty good. Um, so, as you can see at the bottom, you, we have some uh, uh, numbers which means where exactly is the pointer above what items and you can see the links as well and if I want here to, to search about something, I can click on search it's going to refresh the page and give you see that the pointer is in, inside the uh, field but to write something there you have to do it from the field above and say for example um, QMU enter and that is typed inside this uh, text over there 
the text field. Although that I didn't write the, what I wanted. <laughs> anyway, send sends the I guess the form. Let's try again. I forgot to click. So this browser is great to to render websites. Do a new render. And I will click here, send return. And that should initiate the search in this website and see all the information. It's great uh, to see websites and read uh, latest news, whatever you want. Um, yeah, remember always to put HTTPS. that let's see for the secure websites how it works um, this reminds me of when I used to use a Linux browser on my workbench through twin VMC <laughs> yeah exactly it's pretty much the same although that twin VMC actually you use the the actual Linux uh, box right um, but you can uh, also scroll down the colors are a little bit weird uh, maybe it needs something somewhere as you can see I can't grab the the uh, scroll bar because it's just an image you can click only at the area where the scroll bar is and uh, go back uh, sorry, uh, reload the, the image. That's what it is. It does. So, and also it is possible to go to YouTube. Let's see. YouTube.com slash in my channel. And I think there is a way to connect it with uh, Amitube. Accept all. Okay. So here is my video from last week where we checked the Gorky 17 and the Retic 2 for the um, for the Pystorm and Amiga OS 3.2 if you haven't watched it yet. it's on uh, YouTube right now and let's see if I... what's that? V what is going to do? let me check the documentation Amifox usage okay about to get using it from controls Okay, it doesn't describe what this V does, but you can get that URL, copy URL, and open the Amitube. Uh, I have that in video, Amitube. Paste it here, enter, and you are going to get uh, the information. And then you can say, okay, get us a uh, MPEG-1 if you want to play it with Riva, one, uh, with Riva player. Um, if you have installed um, a CD Excel uh, uh, player, you can uh, connect it and play from that. So, uh, and I think I have seen somewhere that, let's see, 
if I go to ALB ALB 42 enter uh, thank you Perseta for being here have a good uh, weekend uh, Amika Kami says, I always love, okay, uh, this one. how many colors are you running workbench in? Right now, because I'm using RTG and Picasso, I think we are in 32-bit, yes. It's uh, 720p and 32-bit. Uh, so let's do the search. Um, Falcon 11 says, I saw in some videos that the scrolling of Amifox on Amifox was fluent and guy using Pystorm on Amiga 2000. Yeah, hmm, I have to check it out. Uh, yeah, Amiga Gami, it is odd that the colors are like that, but it might have something to do with the uh, public uh, um, uh, server that I'm using. Maybe the developer decided to to have a lower um, quality in the images so that it won't take too much of his space and that is logical. Um, or my settings might be bad. So record history, default drawer to download, Amicube Okay, so Amicube is, let's see, applications, window, Amicube here. Okay, maybe if I have that here, it will help to open videos to Amicube. Image, format, IFF, if I change it to JPEG, maybe that is much better now. Get URL at position, okay. Let's see it. Uh, this is two minutes. Now that I changed to JPEG, if that makes any difference. Not really. Uh, does it, if I click on here now, this one, okay, nothing. That uh, X clears the uh, URL line. We get reload. Now, after the reload, the colors are much better. I see. So if I go back, does it work? Yes, the colors are much better. It needed me to reload, actually. So if I go click here, after I change to JPEG, the images, I needed to reload. And, <coughs> sorry, and um, how about play to Amitube? URL as QR code, copy text, get server clipboard. You can have bookmarks, which is good, about Amifox. Now, about Amifox, as I said, this is this uses a, a proxy server to download everything. Uh, <coughs> there is some, uh, if you go to ALB, uh, sorry, HTTP, S, uh, blog, Plus ALB forty two dot D. Okay, I wrote it wrong. Here it needs a dot. If I put the dot, okay, sorry, blog dot. He has a, a long documentation um, about security with Amifox. I would suggest if you are concerned about security, 
and uh, who can have access to your data and all this stuff have a look on that uh, document um, it is uh, crucial in my opinion to understand how it works here is my data secure how does Amifox ensure nobody can access it considering how it works and also I think that link here if you see at the bottom it opens a docs a document on Google to have a look more information about that for me it is crucial for you to have a look on that uh, if you are concerned about your data uh, but also um, you can use your own server for on your local machine on your local network not on the Amiga but on a Linux system on your local network uh, he describes exactly how this works and this might even give you some extra speed because you are going to get everything inside your network have in mind about that uh, please let me know if you would like to see how this can be done uh, how we can set up this uh, server if you would like to see it uh, please write uh, on the chat and I will uh, have a look and maybe next uh, stream we can check it out and that is Amifox, it's a very good browser, let's say um, if you want to see uh, more stuff, let's see that uh, will it load the uh, document on Google Docs I believe that it will and while it does that I'm going to show you the last browser for today uh, which is Ami Gemini it was mentioned earlier in the chat I think from Javier yes and uh, Ami Gemini is a great browser uh, but you are not going to have access to most of the websites that you like to, to visit and uh, the reason for that is that it uses a different uh, protocol to connect to websites which is known as uh, Gemini uh, let me find it it's like a gopher uh, protocol like the one that uh, Javier mentioned earlier uh, this is a protocol that uh, the target is to, to have uh, websites only with text if uh, the websites have uh, images or videos or something like that they should, uh, the, the developers should point to the actual files to the actual video file or image file and the, that's the, the logic behind it and um, if uh, an image is there you should uh, download that image and uh, view it on your um, default image viewer you shouldn't see anything inside the um, browser uh, except the the text that's the philosophy as much as I understand it of the Gemini in general so let me install it Amiga OS 3 applications, internet a new drawer will not be created so I will create a folder here proceed proceed uh, would you like to install the Amigemini source code archive? no? ok let me close Amifox Amigemini and that is Amigemini <laughs> cool eh? it opens in uh, its own uh, screen you can select different screens of course uh, you can select different themes we will see about them Amiga links and here 
are some links from Amiga websites. Um, for that example, you can find here my uh, Gemini webpage. Which I hope it works. Yes, it works. So you have here the my web page, and for example, for the Lightwave, an article that I had, um, you can see here all the document. It uh, has some uh, links to YouTube, for example, or something. Uh, which, if I click, you will see that it tries to download. Um, and. Uh, <coughs> yeah, the the philosophy behind uh, Amigemini is to have only um, documents, read uh, articles, get information. There is a way to search around the Gemini uh, ecosystem and websites, um, and also the browser has uh, themes. If you like a different theme of the way that it looks, uh, which is pretty nice, you can set your own ca the custom theme from here, edit custom theme and change the colors based on what you like. Uh, I will switch uh, to a few of them. That's a nice for. Uh, 1.3 users, maybe. Uh, project Gemini, you will find here uh, information about this project, the Gemini project. Have in mind that this is not something that happens only for Amiga users. The, there are a lot of uh, people out there using that uh, network, uh, even for, uh, and there are browsers for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and I think maybe on every operating system you see how fast it is and um, it supports as well the gopher and the spartan protocols and uh, netful city so if you like this idea it is it is, there is, it is not that difficult to set up a, a server to have Gemini web uh, files. Um, they are uh, script. Uh, they are text files, simple text files. Um, you have to set uh, specifically what is uh, a link. There is a way to do it. Um, for example, here I have a screenshot for this to work, as you can see, you have to download it. Volumes, RAM, OK, and then go to RAM and say, where's the image? Here it is, open it with, and that's the image that I downloaded. And also, yeah, uh, I remember that by this link, okay, this is Ami Gemini, and this is the same page on um, eyebrows. So if I go and open eyebrows and go to Gemini .gr. You will see that uh, iBrow supports that network just fine as well. But uh, to use it with iBrows, you have to have the paid version of uh, iBrows. Uh, for the demo one, uh, this is not working. Um, Javier says, uh, oh, and OS version, yeah, OS4 version, yes, there is available. Seems like old uh, HTML 2.0, like uh, dot .guide, yes, yeah, exactly. 
uh, the good old uh, days of uh, the web <coughs> where you didn't have to fight with uh, banners, ads, videos that uh, show up from uh, nowhere and um, all these uh, things that we have to deal uh, nowadays uh, on the web and um, you just go online and take the information that you need and that's fine um, have a good night Amiga Kami, thank you for being here uh, yeah it's a, it's a good website to the Gemini is a good uh, website to have a look and uh, bookmark uh, have yes, yes, correct, I browse uh, support Gemini, yes uh, Falcon Level says uh, good, then I can use Gemini on my eyebrows, nice yeah um, the Ami Gemini is pretty good as well so if you don't want to use it in eyebrows, you can use the Ami Gemini um, which is developed by Carl Ziegel a great guy, I had the chance to, to meet him a couple of times he's a very good developer and he's the same guy who created the Ami Speednet or Naminet which we used the other time to compare the speed of the uh, Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi and uh, connection through the PCMCI and um, I was thinking that uh, covering all these browsers would be much uh, would need much less time than uh, uh, oh Amika Kami you are not going anywhere that's great thanks stay uh, stay here um, I got confused with some of your messages earlier ah, I see now that you were saying good night to Prasetta so I'm glad you are staying here sorry about that so um, I was thinking that I would need much less time to talk about these browsers all these browsers um, but it seems we have a lot to have a look it's not only something that uh, you don't need only uh, eyebrows um, although that I said as I said earlier I believe uh, eyebrows is the best out there that you can uh, use um, but there are a lot of other uh, options if you want uh, have a good look on uh, Ami Gemini I think that uh, if you want to have information out there if you have a blog uh, for Amiga it will be good if you can create a Gemini website as well uh, it is nice to, to support that uh, network it is interesting to try something different at, uh, at the end uh, Amifox is very good because you can see any website that you want I don't know how it works with very heavy um, uh, JavaScript websites because this is running on a, a different Linux server I would guess that it would work just fine um, let me put some music with imp3 which is great cool and um, yeah, uh, please let me know which uh, browsers you would like to, to use mostly on your Amigas. Uh, as I said, even on my OS4 system, I like to use uh, eyebrows, although that it doesn't show every uh, website perfectly. Um, and um, yeah, that's. I think that's all for today. Uh, I think we covered a lot of stuff and we overcome all these issues that we had in uh, the first hour Odyssey, Odyssey is very good um, it could be better uh, but it's, it's pretty good sometimes say web, netsurf and OWB yes, yeah, 
Exactly. OWB on 68K, you mean, or OS4? Is the only OS4 we have? To. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, OWB OS4. Okay. It's pretty old, isn't it? For websites. It's it's based on reaction and it's pretty good, but it feels old for um, the websites. I think the Odyssey supports much more. Yep, but render is fast. Yes, it is. It is. Um, so um, that's all for today. Thank you very much for everyone for being here uh, in the chat that you were chatting and we had all this kind of discussion. That's what I. Uh, like to do on my streams because I don't just want to make uh, videos about all this stuff I want that interactivity with all you guys and uh, that makes the things uh, even more interesting for me and I hope uh, uh, that stream was also interesting for you um, I will uh, upload it uh, on uh, uh, on uh, YouTube in a week from now um, but uh, first it's going to be available for my monthly supporters um, I would like to, to talk to you about the uh, blog uh, that I have uh, where I post everything, all my previous recordings of the streams and uh, also all my uh, work, information about my work that I'm doing with uh, Amiga development um, and anything that is Amiga related in, in, to be honest and uh, uh, you can find that blog at coffee.com slash walkero um, you can find all my previous uh, streams in um, my youtube website uh, channel and also um, I would like to thank all my monthly supporters uh, who are Breed, Christopher White, Daniel Zetlika, Emek, Livelord, and Tim Grooms. I would like to thank you again, all and everyone in the chat. Javier, thank you for being here. Amika Kami, thanks for passing, uh, coming by, and uh, we had so, such a good uh, discussions. Aris Amiga, thanks for being here. Uh, SLD Snake. Thank you, C277. Thank you for being here, uh, Falcon 11, FF Shock. Thank you, thank you very much for being here. And um, have in mind that uh, every Tuesday I stream about uh, Amiga OS uh, games. Uh, we are close to to finish uh, Doom 3, I hope. Uh, so this Tuesday I'm going to try to finish it. Um, so uh, every Tuesday we have Amiga OS uh, 4 Gaming Nights. Uh, if you are interested uh, to see how things are in Amiga OS 4 and uh, what kind of games are there, please have a look uh, on my streams. I hope so, Javier. I hope that the Doom 3 is going to be to be finished on this Tuesday. Last uh, Tuesday I streamed for more than four hours. Uh, because I always thought that uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, and it's going to be done. done. It needed much more. And uh, every Friday I have uh, different uh, topics about classic Amigas. And not only that, uh, in the future we are going to see uh, some other topics that I have in my mind, like uh, um, a MacBook that I want to convert to Morphos and install, uh, upgrade it and install Morphos on that. So if you are interested on that, uh, one of my future uh, streams are going to be uh, for uh, this topic. And um, so if you want to uh, get an alert every time I stream, please have a, uh, give me a follow on uh, uh, Twitch and you are going to get an alert whenever I'm uh, starting to stream. Uh, let's have a look if we can uh, uh, raid anyone if anyone is uh, streaming anything about uh, Amiga let's have a look and give it, give them a raid and uh, see what they are playing 
Okay, I see different people streaming. Ah. I don't see anything about Amiga related. Oh, uh, Amiga Live. Someone is playing a game on Amiga Live, so let's give him a raid. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Have a good evening and a great, great uh, weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.